Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually going to do them in separate hauls, but I decided why not just do them in one because tomorrow I will be doing my first holiday DIY and I thought that, um, no, let me get, you know, the hauls done first and then I could concentrate on cooking and DIYs. So, no blabbing, I'm going to get right into, um, honestly, forgetting to buy, and I don't know why, even when I was in Dollar General, or, um, even Dollar Tree for that matter, um, it is something that I need, but yet, maybe I, just because I haven't bought them in so long, um, that I honestly, my mind just isn't wrapping around, you need to buy these, you're out of them. And that is razors. Of all the darn things, these are Simply Venus by Gillette. And there is eight of them. Yeah, eight of these um, Simply Venus razors. And um, let me see, the back is actually open. Um, these are much more reasonable than what the refills cost I used to use. The uh, different racers that needed refills, and oh my god, how expensive they are is crazy. Absolutely crazy, I just couldn't afford it. I'm like, um, no, no, uh, no, not paying it, not doing it, sorry, Charlie, no, 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 no. Alrighty, so, this is a little Technically, it would be a gift set of different homemade soaps, herbal soap, and it's called Plant Life. There is patchouli, ambrosia, um, black hemp, and oh my gosh, okay, black hemp and pumpkin spice. Now, I am familiar with these soaps. I got two of these. I gave Ronnie one. Um, because me and him are really familiar with these soaps. They sell the large versions of these in Hazel Drug, where I get my scripts delivered. <coughs> and they are so good. They are made with, like, very good, pure ingredients. They, oh my gosh, they last a while. So even one small bar of soap like this could last you technically like three weeks. There's no waste with them and your skin just feels so good after you take a shower with them or use them on your face. I used them like on my body, you know, when I took a shower and like, oh my goodness, they are, they are really well made soaps. The bigger bars, they are a little bit pricey maybe running like between four and five dollars a bar but in this particular case you do get what you pay for and your skin will feel so amazing after using one of these for two three weeks I'm telling you so this little set was only five dollars for five of the small ones and I thought you know what let me grab two as I said Ron is familiar with them so I gave him one of these Really good soaps, really good company. Next, I have Rustic Bliss 5 piece mini bamboo set. They are mini bamboo makeup brushes. There is an eyeshadow brush, a powder brush, blush brush, blending brush, and angled brow uh, brush. Boy, that's a tongue twister. Angled brow brush. Okay. Um, I also got Ronnie one of these too, so that Eris had a newer set of brushes. So Eris really loved them. And speaking of Eris, um, there is a video. I don't know yet when we will get it done. It was supposed to be uploaded for Halloween. Um, when Eris was working, it just wasn't able to work out for her to film it with me. So, um, perhaps during the week, um, Eris can actually take some time to do the video 
and uh, it was about just explaining some basics of tarot cards and doing a tarot card reading for me. Now, it would go into my Halloween playlist for 2020, but we did get a few requests for that video, and I told people we didn't, like, give up on it. Um, just, there's been so much going on here that really we haven't given thought to doing it. Um, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely that will be getting worked on. I'm not going to end the year without errors talking about tarot. Now this is something I picked up for my granddaughter as she does do nails. And uh, I thought that she would really like this selection of colors. This is Ultimate Nail Collection. Beauty Concepts. And this has some nice nudes, corals, pinks, roses. Ending off with like a red and a coral red. Really, really pretty set of polish. So that is for my oldest granddaughter. Now, this is something I actually got for myself. And you might think, well, why did you do that? Because you're not even wearing the ones you have. I'll explain in a moment. So this is Seven Day Press On Nails by Style Essentials. And it's a different set of nails for each day of the week. Well, I used to wear mine for several days. So, um... I just thought that this was actually really cute and something that I think I would probably save for springtime, maybe end of winter going into spring to actually wear these. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a nail review so yeah I haven't done them in months but um, I will be because I have all these sets of nails and I didn't wear them. So, yeah, the last item that I do have from Target was a wand. I fell in love with it. seeing them. I thought, oh gosh, I have to have them. And I just said, okay, I'm buying these. And I will wear them. And it is... I love the color because it's not your traditional brown or beige or black. Um, I love it because it's the winter white. These have a really soft furry lining inside. And this is a clunky heel that is pretty easy to actually walk in. Um, actually, these are going to replace a pair of black boots that had a zipper on the side that a friend gave me. Um, that would design something like this with the fur and everything. Unfortunately, a zipper broke on one of them and I couldn't fix it. So when I seen these, I thought these would be a really nice replacement. So that is actually what it looks like on uh, one of the boots. And the heel honestly is not, um, not that not that high to be honest it's a clunky heel um i just think they're really really nice not these boots were 29.99 in target they weren't super expensive now i want to take a moment to tell you about something really good and a situation that happened that was really really nice um, I was blessed by a friend with unexpected help from her when, um, when her divorce became final, I guess you could say. And she, um, basically helped me out so that I was able to get caught up with my bills. I was able to get caught up with my rent and end the year not owing any money on anything, which is good. And that's the way I would like to end the year. Um, it's also giving me the advantage of being able to 
buy some Christmas presents and um, order some presents online and just spend a little extra money that I normally wouldn't have to spend um, because of the bills and the rent and everything. So in another video, I'm going to show you a really cute plaque she gave me um, about a week and a half ago that almost made me cry, really, because it just made me feel so good what it said and it was just so thoughtful and um, I truly do believe sometimes that people come into your life for a reason and that you're meant to be um, in theirs as well, you know, that they need to learn something from you or maybe you need to learn something from them. Maybe they need, you know, someone, I don't want to say understanding their situation, but maybe they need someone older with more wisdom or more, yeah, I don't want to say experience. Um, maybe someone with more wisdom who can just say to them, you know, this is what I see you doing. And if you don't correct this pattern, you know, this is going to happen. But without being like preachy or judgmental, you know. So I do believe that sometimes people come in your life, maybe just for a season, um, maybe for a long period of time, maybe for a short period. One doesn't know. But there's a reason that they did come into your life. And usually when they're not in your life anymore, um, you figure out why. Um, you know, the powers that be put them where they were needed and you, vice versa, you know. So that was the situation with that. And before I get into my Dollar Tree haul, I also wanted to state that yesterday was just a crazy day. I was going to record this video last night and upload it late last night, but I just fell asleep. I really have not been getting the right kind of sleep for, oh my gosh, days now, days. And it has been really, really bad trying to sleep with the current like situation. But the good news is Exterminator was here yesterday. He went and sprayed every nook and cranny in this apartment said that from what he's seen he could see like a very mild very light um problem and um basically said that you know he didn't even think he would have to come back said if we noticed any after three weeks to you know let the landlord know and he would come back and do another one but like from what he's seen um yeah, he definitely felt that it was very light and probably like just at the beginning, which is good. That's like the best time to catch those kind of bugs, you know? You want to catch them when there's not a gazillion of them because of the way they reproduce and they can hibernate and like for a year and oh God, you know? Like you want to get them early. You want to get them when there's only a few. Um, So, you know. My thing is, okay, that's good, that's great, but, you know, in the meantime, um, we just have to play it by ear, and before we could even consider, like, getting new beds or something, um, be sure that, you know, everything is gone before we actually look into, you know, our options as far as how we could get new bedding, because um, that's definitely not an expense we're prepared for. You know, um, an air mattress is not a good idea, not an option, um, because I have cats. So I don't know if all Dollar Trees um, have the uh, good DVD selection, but I have to admit that this time around I was really impressed. Um, there is some. Um, really good uh, 
really good um, DVDs and Blu-rays that they had. Um, so I like took a few minutes and went through them, and I found several uh, good ones. So, let me get right into them. Curse of the Phoenix. It says, stay away from the water. Um, I guess it's about, uh, I guess it's about a lady who haunts the uh, 19th century sailing ship on which she leads historical tours. Really interesting. Um, she killed herself after a disastrous romance. So that sounds interesting. Um, I will take your dead. Death is knocking at their door. Uh, So it's interesting, uh, this is about a guy who has form and gangs drop dead bodies off at his form and he makes the dead bodies disappear, I guess they pay him. Well they drop off someone who he finds out isn't dead, a woman, and he patches her up. And when the gang uh, that I guess thought they killed her come they set out to uh, finish what they what they started men in black and men in black too i had these movies on vhs and um i loved the men in black movies i really truly did i loved will smith in them um honestly tommy lee jones was perfect in these movies too um, is such a good actor, you know. The Death Star. Unlock the secrets of how the first stars were born. So this is a, um, a BBC documentary. You know, um, documentaries are actually good to watch. There's so many good ones on Tubi. There's some about rock bands and that. Um, Crackle has a few good ones. Even on Netflix, on Amazon, um, there's even quite a few good ones like here on YouTube. Um, honestly, switch it up sometime. Take a break from like binge watching and everything and check out the documentary. You'd really be surprised how many good ones there are um, out there. And uh, learn something. Teach yourself something, you know, instead of just like binge watching everything. Serious Moonlight. Timothy Hutton, Meg Ryan, Kristen Bell. Huh. I don't know if I remember this movie, but it sounds good. Max 2, White House Hero. Man's best friend is the country's biggest hero. I have a bootleg copy of Max. Um. So that, I guess, was the second movie that they came out with. Cats. I wanted this movie when it came out. I didn't get around to getting it. Um, so now I'm going to have my copy of Cats. And uh, definitely I'm going to have to pick a absolutely crappy horrid night to sit back, watch it, and laugh. And last but not least, Eli Roth, Aftershock. Uh, the only thing more terrifying than Mother Nature is human nature. And this is about a earthquake. Um, an earthquake in Chile. They were there, I guess, as tourists at a party. And um, Selena Gomez is in it. So that sounds... Interesting. I didn't know she actually, um, she, well, no, is she in it or, 
No, I guess she helped produce this. Yeah, I don't think that she's actually in it. Um, okay, so my bad. But um, anywho, that's a really good selection of movies. And, um, you know, definitely go in your Dollar Tree soon and check out and see what they have. I know the movie selection differs in different stores. Um, but I got a pretty good selection of movies. I got nine movies. I mean, and there was a bunch more. Um, I picked the ones that I was interested in. So, I mean, I probably actually could have come out of there with like maybe $20 worth, but... Um, I just picked ones, you know, that I really thought that I would definitely, definitely, um, watch. And now to finish off my Dollar Tree haul, I have this really pretty thick bag, and no, it's not actually going to be for presents, although it is gorgeous. I fell in love with that beautiful red cardinal one. Uh, it is going to be used in a DIY. This one is absolutely beautiful. And this too, with the glitter right there. A beautiful gift bag, but this is going to be used in a DIY as well. Now this is a little plaque and it's made to look like wood and it says jingle all the way. This is going to be used in the DIY but I'm going to um, remove this. That'll get used in something different and I'm going to actually um, be making this more like a normal I want to say um, lighter colored wood than actually painted wood but that's a holiday DIY as well so I grabbed some of these like garland you can use these with the uh, Dollar Tree trees and there's a reason for that and I have one two three four I just wanted to make sure I had enough and didn't run out because I will be doing, okay, I was going to do another tabletop tree. Um, I remember a, a while back, I said I wanted to go this year with like a raspberry color because of a really cute tabletop tree I seen in my Salvation Army store window. It was like raspberry with like glitter, a really pretty tree. And it wasn't that small. That one that I seen in the window was about this high. So that's what I was going to do. Um, but trying to find that raspberry shade of spray paint online, I'm not really having much luck. So I'm going with a different idea and I don't know. Um, I don't know how some of you are going to like it when it's all done. I had said I didn't know if I was or wasn't going to put my white tree up this year because of the situation and I'm still not quite sure and I'm actually thinking maybe erring on the side being safe only putting up a minimal amount of decorations and instead I will use the tree that I'm going to be working on in the DIY but it's not just any other tree um if I'll give you a hint if you are on Facebook and you belong to any of the Christmas groups like we love Christmas or you know I love holidays something like that there's a popular post circulating on them right now and it shows a Christmas tree but it's the color of the tree that is really controversial um, so if any of you are in groups like that on Facebook as I am you know what I'm talking about and you already know just by me giving you that hint well what color my DIY tree is going to be and that's all I'm going to say 
I did grab some holiday ribbon. Um, this is really cute. It has like um, berries and little leaves. And this is red with little snowflakes. I'm trying to see if that's like a, yeah, that's more like a satiny fabric, snowflakes. Now, again, I don't know if your Dollar Tree carries these different little, like, magazines for a buck. Um, mine do. And I always try to check them out and see what is what, because they have some really good, um, information in some of them. There really is. And uh, this, for example, is the best of relish. And there is all different kinds of um, easy recipes in them. Um, Oh wow, that's cute. Um, all kind of good recipes in these taco bowls, green monster smoothie bowls, sweet potato, turkey chili, creamy cauliflower soup with crispy bacon, slow cooker pork, green chili, tomato top, cheesy macaroni, oven fried chicken, um, yeah, definitely some cool, um, some cool recipes in them, and that is why I like to get these. Now, this is Relish Ground Beef 13 budget-wise, family favorites, 90 meals in under 30 minutes, chili pasta skillet. So, let us see what is in here. Classic patty melt on rye. Mushroom beef, sloppy joes. Ah. Beef and bean, chimichangas. Beef and vegetable fried rice, skillet lasagna. Spicy spaghetti with beef and vegetables. Okay, that's different. Mexican skillet supper stove top tamale pie. Hmm. Interesting. Um, cheeseburger macaroni casserole. see what is this one here um slow cooker beef tamale casserole tacos stuff pasta shells yeah there's stuff veggies so that sounds really good and this is something that i thought would be good for me as far as um diys and it's called homemade grease and I wanted to see what a, what kind of ideas they have how to make bows. That is what I do need to learn. I need to learn how to make my own bows. It's not hard. Um, this is an adorable fall pumpkin right here, a fall floral pumpkin leaf. Um, a wee tree. That's really cute. A gold hoop wreath. A cornucopia wreath. Now that is actually really really cute 
And I actually had one of them too, all leaf wreath. Winter cinnamon stick and dried orange slice. Well, now that sounds absolutely adorable. Ah, ice skate arrangement. Well, that is really, really cute. Uh, winter greenery and frosted pine cone wreath. Just some really, really, uh, some really cute wreath ideas. Pinecone wreath, a Christmas tree wreath. Yeah, there's just so many, so many adorable ones. A snowman wreath. I actually wanted to make one of these. Um, they are like really, really cute. Snowball for the winter. I definitely. Uh, Definitely would do something like that for the dinner and something really cute and festive for definitely um, spring, Easter, um, but I'm getting way ahead of myself. But there is a really cute project in here that I would actually like to do now for the holidays. So I'm glad I did get that. So that is my Dollar Tree um, TJ Maxx haul. I am actually in the process of finishing up some candle orders. Hopefully I can get everything packed up tomorrow and ready to be picked up on uh, Monday so my customers can get their candles and, um, you know, um, those Christmas orders will be done. I think I might only take maybe one or two more holiday orders and I'm probably going to call it quits then. Um, because I really want to focus on DIYs and that for my channel. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, but I do enjoy making them. It is just like the most relaxing thing. Um, you know, if you should be interested in any candles, let me know. Um, I have a lot of traditional holiday scents, holly berry, bayberry, snowberry. I have pine and um, spruce. I have uh, peppermint, candy cane, country Christmas, Victorian Christmas, Christmas morning, winter wonderland. Um, chocolate chip and chocolate chip mint and um, I can combine a few scents and make some really cool holiday ones as well you know well guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already hit my subscribe button don't forget to hit my bell so you will be notified each and every time I upload a video I have to get in the habit of start saying that because if you don't hit all you won't always get notifications and I actually am guilty of that myself wondering why oh I didn't know so-and-so did a video and then when I went back and checked my settings on their channel it's like um yeah I didn't hit all so yeah it does mean you're not gonna know every time someone uploads a video and in theory it should work sometimes YouTube goes wonky and it doesn't but for the most part it does well, guys, take care and stay safe. Um, you know, have a wonderful evening, and I will see you all tomorrow 
on my next one. Good night.